Good morning. Welcome to lovely Palm Springs. Chris is still sleeping. The boys are starting to wake up, but um, we're here in the Palm Springs area, mainly to, to see friends. Uh, we have Phil and Alex that we're going to go see. We have friends here in the RV park that we're going to be spending time with while we're here. And then we also have our friends, the Calhouns, coming down from Northern California, and they're going to spend a few days here. And my grandma, she's 97, 97, we're going to go see her. So really, this is just, we're here in Palm Springs to spend time with with friends and family uh, before we head east towards Florida. So that's that's really why we're here. But looks like it's gonna be a wonderful day out today. And uh, I am always one that's up for a good hike. So my plan, my secret plan that I have for today is to ask Rob, our friends that are here, see if he wants to take his kids and I'll take our boys and we'll go on a hike. There's this one that I found. It's called uh, Ladder Canyon. So. Um, it's in a canyon, love canyons, something unique, and uh, hopefully it has more than one ladder, but it also has views of uh, the Salton Sea, which Chris is always laughing at me because I'm like infatuated with the story of the, the Salton Sea, and uh, it's this huge lake in California, but that's the plan. Sounds like a good plan to me. Hiking, family, friends, fun. How can it go wrong? Two ladders so far. Hopefully there's more up above. I thoroughly enjoyed the hike. It, it did not disappoint. You could see a little bit of the Salton Sea off in the distance. You could just just see it in the in the background. And it's it's not just the Salton Sea that intrigues me. It's kind of the whole story of that area. And I don't I don't know. I'm trying to figure out why it intrigues me. I guess it's because I like to think that I'm not the only one that makes mistakes. And it's kind of a you look at it. It's it's a it's a good example of a mistake. A, a really big mistake that okay so the the history behind the Salton Sea area is uh, a, a, quite a while ago they had an issue and a, a problem with the construction of an ir irrigation canal coming off of the Colorado River well they had a, a breach in it a, a break a mistake in it and it ended up flooding this valley which ended up becoming this uh, 350 square mile lake that we know as the, the Salton Sea. Uh, they were wondering, what do, what do we do with this? So they, they looked at it and they thought, you know what? What do you do with a massive lake? Well, you build housing developments around it. You have tourists come and enjoy the lake. So that's what they did in the 50s and 60s. People just flocked there. I mean, it was just, it was like a heyday. People would, there was more people going to the Salton Sea than there were to people going to Yosemite each year. It was just, it was unbelievable the amount of people and the things that were happening there and the housing developments and it was it was just booming. I mean, it was it was the place to go. It was amazing. So things continued to progress until the, the 70s and this lake, it has no outlet. It doesn't have a, a river that flows out of it and goes to the ocean. So um, anything that flows into it, it was bringing an increased uh, saltiness to the water. It's actually more salty than the Pacific Ocean now. Uh, and the, the farming that was happening around there, all this fertilizer was ending up into the Salton Sea. And so between these two things, it created um, an environment that a majority of the fish just couldn't survive in anymore. So massive amounts of fish were just, just dying. And so 
what now looks like maybe white sandy beaches out there is actually a lot of fish bone and, and destruction. And when the fish died, the birds started dying. So you kind of have this whole like things, it, it was formed by a big mistake. And then there was opportunity and then everything started dying. So the obviously the, the houses were getting abandoned, the tourism stopped um, as this lake began to really create more of a, a, a problem and not be a, a healthy place to be around, people started leaving. So now you have um, all these abandoned homes, these abandoned tourist locations. And one of the bigger known things around there is still uh, Salvation Mountain, which is like kind of the entrance to uh, Slab City, which Slab City is just one of these places where people with their RVs, they just show up and they just, they just live out there in the desert on these slabs from what used to be a, a World War II like military operation, a training facility there. So something that had complete order and structure now has these people just, just living there. It's like the one place in California where there's not really any laws and anything going on, regulations telling you what you can and cannot do. So you just have this really strange area that has just gone through it, the, the ups and the downs. And so we went over and we wanted to, I wanted to check out Salvation Mountain. Salvation Mountain has scripture everywhere. It's just, I don't know, It's it, to me, it's really interesting. Slab City is a really strange, bizarre place. I don't know, it's just, it's intriguing to me. It's weird, but it's kind of intriguing to me. So anyways, I think that's gonna call it a day for today. And uh, we will, we'll catch you next time.